<laughs> oh my god, that makes sense in a really stupid way. <laughs> Wait, why does this guy have a level 7 Weedle but the last guy did? Um... I don't know. Don't ask me, Fallout! I don't know anything about Pokemon! Pokemon are for children, and that's why I play them regularly. Yeah. Poison types can't get poisoned, right? Well, I guess that would make sense. <laughs> okay, good. I know steel types are like immune to any poison attacks, so yeah. But I don't... Is Bulbasaur a poison grass type from the beginning? I think so. I'll check after this fight. I'll check. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll check. I have two computers, remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Bulbasaur... Yeah, it's a grass poison type from the start. Alright, so it can't get poisoned, good. Hmm. I'm, I'm also gonna check that while I'm at it. May as well. Poison type. Yeah. Damn! Tog just one shot at a level 7 Weedle, nice. When used defensively, the poison type is considered one of the best in the game. That is because it has the ability to block and cause status ailments and resist common moves. Its obvious weakness, Earthquake, can be mitigated by the variety of dual-type grass, bug, poison, Pokemon, as well as Zubat families flying. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking... It doesn't directly say that poison doesn't work, but... I... <laughs> it should. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. There we go. Immune to poison. Okay, good. Spike. So there we go. Yeah. Okay, so Venusaur is like a beast of a Pokemon, then. Yeah, it is. That's good. All, all of the starters are pretty fucking good, I mean. Yeah. Uh, Blastoise is a more defensive one, and, like, Venusaur is the, you know, like, oh, status ailments. It's sort of a cunt, like, you know, Final Fantasy end bosses. <laughs> status ailments! <laughs> like Hojo from Final Fantasy VII, or, uh, well, Necron from Final Fantasy IX, because it had, like, this move, Grand Cross, that causes every single status ailment on you. Really? Yeah, it's a dick move. Wow, that's cheap. <laughs> it even uses, like, zombie and all the, like, really fucking annoying status ailment. It's just like, oh, problem! No. <laughs> yeah. And it's even worse because he kind of just pops up out of nowhere, like, oh yeah, you wanted to fight Kuja as the final fight? Too bad, lol! Yeah, I mean, they should have just given Kuja, like, another form or something. Yeah. But no. No, 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 no. And boss out of nowhere. I mean, you know, if I can find fault with that game, it might be the, you know, end boss out of nowhere. Yeah. It did have an awesome, like, theme, the last boss, so, you know. I didn't hear that, it because, that, um... Yeah. I only saw it in Moogle's LP of it, so... Uh, you should check it out, it's called Grand Cross. I can link it to you later or something. Cool. Um... I'm trying to figure out what I should do in this episode. Well, we should probably kick Brock's squinty-eyed ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll switch to Tog. I'm trying to get a good amount of experience for both Luke and Tog. I wonder what level does Tug evolve at? 28, I think. Let's check this. I'm pretty sure it's actually 28, because I, I played Pokemon recently and I had a Anki. Ah. Uh, do they get really good once they become Prime Apes? Well, Prime Ape, um, used to be... Well, it's, it's the fastest fighting type in Generation 1, and in Generation 2, I think. Ah. Uh, so, awesome. so it's a really fast fighting type. So, you know, that's that's its main, like, thing. Okay. And it, it, it's good for a fighting type to attack first, because, you know, they have a... They've ha they have quite a few weaknesses, but they're also really good at, against some types, so, you know, yeah. speed is good. Let me see, uh... And they don't have exactly low attack either, so, you know... Yeah. It's good shit. So, fighting types are, like, really good physical sweepers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Random battle. Gonna cut it out. Dude. If we say something funny, I won't cut it out, but, um, if we don't say yeah, anything... Yeah, that's general, it? I mean, if you're funny, don't cut shit out, but, you know... Yeah. If you're not funny, then you yeah, may as well cut it. Why was this guy facing... 
I don't yeah, know. I was just thinking the same thing. You can't headbutt this generation, bro. No, he's just like, ah, I love the woods. <laughs> there are bugs everywhere. I, I wonder what's, um, like, you know, due to, like, having sex with bugs. You know, there has to be a, like, affiliate for that. Um, there is, but it's not really having sex with bugs. It's having bugs crawl off over your, um, right. crotch okay. area. Uh, let's see. It would have the same term as the phobia, which is... Oh, so it would be entomophilia. <laughs> Sounds nice. Oh, wow. Vine Whip works way better against Metapod than, um, Tackle does. Well, yeah, it would make sense because you get stabbed. Which and is, for those who are not familiar with Pokemans, same type attack bonus. So, you know, if you have a grass type and you attack with a grass type move, it powers it up by 1.5 times. That and he kept on beefing up his physical defense, and in this generation, uh, Vine would still a special move. Which makes no sense, but fair enough! <laughs> it's obviously a physical attack. Yeah. I'm not gonna complain right now. Nah. Let it be. And because of that, I'm gonna have, if I teach Shadow Ball to anyone, it's probably gonna be either Prime Ape or um, yeah, Snorlax. I mean, Shadow Ball of all things, a physical attack. It makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's even like the move is yeah. itself like a ball generating and being thrown at the enemy. I mean, oh. Yeah. And it lowers special defense. Yeah, it's a, a physical attack that lowers special defense makes sense to me. Maybe if you're in like a double battle. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But there's like three of those in this game. Yeah. I remember it was like a... I love how they advertised this game and like, uh, it was like, Oh yeah, it's like Pokemon Emerald, but with the original Pokemon, there's gonna be double battles, like a whole lot of them. I get the last Great. patch of grass and there's a random battle. That is my luck. Come on, Metapod! Tank it! Tank it! <laughs> yes. This is gonna be a stamina battle! At one point, your Pokémon are gonna be so worn out and tired that I'm gonna have to win by forfeit. <laughs> it's the perfect plan! Oh, bug catchers. You retards. Oh, let me tell you what happened to my friend this one time. Oh, damn it, not mm -hmm. Leech Seed. I didn't mean to... Alright, um... You know Shedinja, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. For those... The creepy thing with... Oh, it's back. Yeah, for those of you who don't know what Shedinja is, it's a bug ghost type that has only one HP, but you can't hurt it with anything aside from super effective moves. <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, it's designed after a cicada. Isn't that how it's pronounced? I think so. Yeah, anyway, uh, and uh, it has like a hole in its back, and the Pokédex says like, If you look into the hole in its back, it sucks out your soul and you die! So, you know, normal stuff. <laughs> yeah. For kids, you know. <laughs> That's almost as cheerful as Cubone's original name being Orphan. Yeah. <laughs> You know that skull on its head? It's Mother Skull. Oh yeah! Right, he was fighting with it in the, um... The tower in Emerald. The battle tower, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he got put up against a Registeel. Right. And all of its moves were not very effective. It only chipped a little bit of its health. And it would keep resting to restore all of its health. <laughs> and eventually, all he had left was Toxic, which Registeel was immune to. And Shedinja was the last Pokemon he had, by the way. Like, all the rest had fainted. So... Right. Eventually, what happened, he ran off out of power points for all his moves. And when you do that, you can only do Struggle, which does recoil damage. And his Shedinja <laughs> killed itself. <laughs> Oh, man. 
Anyway, guys, welcome to Pure City, yep. the most unremarkable of the cities in this game. <laughs> what about uh, Vermilion? <laughs> well, Vermilion has like a port and the Our... Diglett Cave and stuff like that. Or no, no. This place has a museum. <laughs> not Vermilion, but um, the city we just came from. Oh, Viridian City. Well, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the gym there is pretty badass. Yeah, true. Alright, we are about to face Brock. 